everybody. Welcome y'all. Thank you for joining me. Let's see what's going on today. This red candle over here has the biggest flame on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess it's the wick. Alright, let's see what message we can get today. Something's going on. There's something negative going on. And I, I've been seeing the devil card. The fool. The high priestess. The empress. There's something going on. It's like some kind of obsession or something going on. Look at that, y'all. That's negative energy right there. Why? Can we get to the bottom of this negativity, please? Wow. Like, this is a lot, Miss Mary. Look at this. Whew. I don't even know what to say, y'all. This is like addictive type energy. This is... I typically see this with real, real bad stuff. Black magic, you know, things like that. It's bad, bad, bad energy right there, y'all. Holy Spirit, can you please guide me? Can you please give me sight to see? Can you please give me divine protection? Watch over me while I channel the energies. Put a hedge of protection around the collective as well as they connect with me through your spirit. Thank you so much for all that you do for us. Your goodness. Your mercy. Alright. I guess we'll get started. I mean, I don't know what to say about that, y'all. How do you want to start, Spirit? Let's start with virtues. What virtues are you working on in the collective right now with this negative energy that's going on? Can we talk about this negative energy, Spirit? And where it might be coming from and what we might be able to do about it. Thank you for protecting me from it. Stewardship. I did not see that coming. This is about managing what we've been given for his glory. Oh, wow, I did not see that coming, y'all. And respect. Wow. Stewardship and respect. Honoring people and things that God created. And then on the top of the deck is gentleness. The throat chakra is trying to close also. Hold on, here comes the distractions, y'all. If you bring it in here, it won't ring. I know. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. So, as I was saying, this is about stewardship and respect with gentleness somehow encompassing the entire reading. Alright, Spirit, what overall tarot energy is working in the situation causing all this negative energy? I'm not taking all those. <laughs> Can I get one or two at a time? Thank you. Uh, Empress in reverse. So, there's a feminine energy that is struggling in some way. Alright. What's not working, Spirit? That's what's working is that this woman is struggling. What's not working is strength, so I have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo so far. So, um, that may or may not play into factor here. There's a solar plexus issue going on somewhere with somebody. Um, somehow, this fruit tree might be somehow significant. Wheat fields. I see a lot of gold here. Somebody's got... Their foundation has been shaken in some way. It looks like something's happened to shake somebody's foundation. Alright, and what's going to pull this together? Thank you, Spirit. The sun in reverse. The sun is the happiest card in the entire deck, but when it's in reverse, it's, it's a real unhappy energy. Somebody's real, it, real, real unhappy and their strength is not what it should be. 
and that's what's put them in reverse. But them not being happy is what's going to turn this around. Because in life, if we're unhappy for long enough and we're in pain for long enough, it motivates us. Pain is a motivator to do something different. And sometimes we'll be stubborn and hard-headed and we will not we won't make the necessary changes we need to make in our lives until we get in enough pain that we finally say enough is enough. And it has something to do with, it looks like money and respect and gentleness. And then on the bottom of the deck is this is cycle. This cycle is going to eventually, it's going to close. It's going to close. It's not going to go on forever. Okay? Alright. So, let's see, um, Spirit, how do we find out how this happened? How do we find out how this happened? Can you show me? Spirit, how did this happen to the collective, to whoever's going through this negativity? That's too many cards. Can I get one at a time, please? <laughs> no way. If somebody feels alone, something is over, and you feel very alone. You feel isolated, like people don't understand, or someone may not understand what you're going through. You might be trying to just hold this together the best you can. You might be at a place right now with something that's making you very unhappy. It may have to do with money or it may have to do with something in your life that you're trying to manage. Something you've been given um, that you're trying to manage and be respectful for. Somehow there's a feeling of aloneness and that's how this happened. And there's, it looks like communication is not coming in for somebody, all right? Uh, what's being hidden, Spirit? Can you show me what's being hidden that caused this to happen? What's being hidden? I thought I had a card turned on. Oh, there we go. What's being hidden is a pinky promise. Or swear somebody promised you something they made you a promise it could have been a pinky promise like there's nothing more like this was you you've really felt that they were not going to do this to you but there was some sense of being entrapped or stuck somehow you feel like somebody promised you something and now they're not doing it and it left you in a place where you're stuck and that's in reverse though so this is like your negative thinking that's going on somebody promised you something and they didn't deliver now you feel alone and stuck and entrapped all right well what's being shown whoa what's being shown spirit somebody might have a uh, dark hair short short like up to your earlobes there's, a, there's no commitment, no partnership. Or maybe there is. Maybe you think there should be. Somehow you might feel like you should have this partnership. It doesn't have to be love. It could be a job that you were told, you know, I prom I'm promising you, you got this job. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. And now all of a sudden, you know, they've they've abandoned ship on you or they've changed up somehow and this is causing you to feel very um, alone and unhappy like you're not appreciated at all and you know what what you're seeing though over here is that you have this commitment so I'm not sure how you can oh digmatized on the bottom of the deck Alright, and what should the collective do next? The answer is yes. So, whatever you're going through, you feel like it's not going to happen, maybe you're waiting on a job, or you're waiting for someone to reach out that made, that made you a promise that they would not leave you alone, and you 
materialistic on the bottom of the deck. Digmatized and materialistic on the bottom of the deck. I mean, take it as it resonates, because that resonates with somebody. I promise you. <laughs> All right, let's see how the um, the spiritual gifts are working. How did this happen? What spiritual gifts were lacking to cause this to happen, Spirit? Clouds. Clouds. So maybe you had clouded vision. Maybe your vision was clouded. Maybe what you thought was actually happening here is not actually happening. And you're, you've done this to yourself. Like, you're, you've put yourself in this confined place because you thought there was going to be a relationship. But I'm not sure what yes means. All right, what's being hidden? What's being hidden is this tree of life. So, so, this feels like a sense of something you thought was dead is not dead. It's still alive. It's still, I'm not sure. We're going to have to, you know, there's the house on the bottom of the deck. What's being shown? I'm not really sure what this is about, but somebody's going to know. What's being shown, Spirit? Oh, now I'm getting phone calls. Thank you. See, I want you to know that you're protected. Whatever you're going through that makes you feel alone, somehow the clouds are significant for how this happened. Maybe you thought the clouds were speaking to you in some way. And then we have the tree of life over here, and then we have protected over here. But I want to look at something. Then we have the magician on the bottom of the deck. Because I'm not feeling what's happening here. I feel like there's a disconnect somewhere. Let me see what's going on here. The tree of life. You have received this card as the universe wants you to get back to your roots and ground your soul. The tree of life is a sacred tree that contains the knowledge of the universe. When you are grounded and connected to the earth, you have the ability to tap into the knowledge contained within the wisdom of the tree. The tree of life psychic reading card indicates that you are not isolated, and that's how you feel. You're not isolated. It is a message that you are deeply connected to the world around you and all within it. The energy of the tree wants you to realize that you have the ability to thrive and grow when you are connected to the universe. The tree also indicates what an amazing and unique being you truly are. The tree of life can also symbolize your family and its connection through its intricate branches and roots. Life grows and the generations are interconnected throughout ever-expanding branches, such as those who went, before, uh, who went before us and who will come after, such as grandparents, parents, ourselves, children, and grandchildren. It is always important to pay attention to the tree, notice in which direction it grows and twists and turns and its branches have developed. The tree is a symbol of your life's path and the challenges and achievements you will have and reach in your life. The knowledge of the past and the present is strongly rooted within the tree. When you look at this psychic reading card, know and feel in your heart that your connection to the universe is growing and expanding so, are your, so you are aligned with what went before you and what will go ahead of you. This card wants you to know there are greater things to come in your life. Thus, it is very important to pay attention to the sacred knowledge that is available to you at this time. You are a tree of wealth and knowledge. Listen to the universe so that your gifts will be unveiled. Okay, somebody's stuck. That's why this entrap is here. Somebody's stuck in a negative thinking pattern, and they're not appreciating. Stewardship is about managing what we've been given. And I feel like in this situation, it, it could be money because we have materialistic over here. But it could also be your very life. Like, you're stuck in this place of worrying about this promise that somebody made you. Feeling alone because they didn't keep their promise. And you're not seeing the connectedness that you have. 
all of the other good things in your life. The tree is growing in a different direction and you're stuck in this place of feeling alone. And it has to do with respect. And I have a feeling it has to do with somebody being disrespectful. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in this alone place. Now, I have to know what clouds means because that's how this happened. And I don't understand how clouds is a, re is a relevant thing here. <clears throat> Look up and see the beauty above you. Okay, so somebody feels alone and they're feeling like they don't see. Okay. You have received this card as the universe is trying to get your attention in the form of messages in the clouds. The sky is nature's natural canvas, where the universe creates beautiful, colorful, and at times fluffy cloud formations. Have you ever gone outside, lain down, and looked at the clouds? I'm sure you have. Do you remember when you were a child looking up at the clouds to find messages such as faces, animals, angels, fairies, and other worlds? The sky is such a magical place, a portal from the world to the heavens above. This, this psychic reading cloud card is a reminder the universe wants you to remember what it is like to be a small child again and to take time out of your busy life to reconnect with the clouds. Our loved one in spirit realized the cloud... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Our loved ones in spirit utilize the clouds to give you signs that they are close to you. You may even be blessed with the image of a loved one's face staring back at you from the clouds above, or you may have been given an image of an angel sitting up among the clouds looking down at you to let you know you are not alone. The clouds can also represent the state of mind you are currently experiencing. Pay attention to how you feel when different cloud formations appear. Do you feel sad or gray when the weather is overcast or rainy? Do you feel happy and uplifted when the weather is warm and sunny? Do you feel frightened or on edge when there's lightning in the sky or during a thunderstorm? Remember, it is after the rain that we can be blessed with a rainbow, and when the rain clouds begin to clear, we can see rays of light from heaven. This card is a gentle reminder that you need to stop and take time out to look up and see what hidden treasures the universe wants to share with you. So th the way this happened, I think, is somebody might have some seasonal depression. Somebody might actually be depressed when, when we have cold weather or when we have warm weather or when it's cloudy outside. I feel like something about the weather or the clouds has made you feel alone and disconnected. And Spirit's saying, I want you to see that you're not alone. You're connected. You can look up at the sky and you can know that you're connected by this tree. And then over here, you can know that you have this white light. And that you're protected. I mean, the distractions have not stopped since I sat down here to do this reading. And that negative energy tells me that I need to finish this reading, y'all. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not going to stop until I'm finished with this reading. All right, so what should the collective do next, Spirit? What should the collective do next? There we go. Meditation meditation and that explains why i was actually meditating prior to making this video somebody needs to stop and meditate it's time to get back to yourself and stop looking outside of yourself for ways to fix this unhappiness that's here the answer is going to be yes to whatever it is that you're asking and if you'll get still and get quiet, the universe, God, the Creator, the Holy Spirit is going to help you to, to get grounded again. I would also even suggest going out into nature to do this. All right, Spirit, how are the angels helping? Blessings. The angels are going to give you blessings. What else? Holy Spirit, can you talk to me about what the angels are doing for this? Negative energy. How are the angels helping us? We have protection from it. Thank God. 
They're going to give you some passion. They're going to give you some fire, some passion. Somehow fire is significant here. Blessings and passion, okay? What else? Um, angels, how are you working here? Wisdom. You have protection again and manifestation. So, again, we have wisdom, protection, and manifestation. And <coughs> hope on the bottom of this deck. Hope on the bottom of this deck. All right. Are there any more spiritual gifts at play here, Spirit, that we need to know? <laughs> Are there any more spiritual gifts at play here that we need to be aware of? There we go. Spirit wants you to know you got to be this phoenix rising. Phoenix rising. That's a spiritual awakening. And abundance on the bottom of the deck. Abundance on the bottom of the deck. All right, Spirit, what do we want to do next? This is this reading has been interrupted so many times. All right, how can we get healing here? Somehow there's a soulmate that's significant to this. I kind of thought so. I kind of thought so because I was intending for this to be a divine masculine, divine feminine reading, and I guess we're going to go in that direction now. Then we have take off your mask on the bottom of the deck. So maybe this was the person that promised you something and left you alone. When you were expecting this to turn into a relationship. Alright, let's look at what's going on with this soulmate, shall we? How can we look at this? Yeah, how did this happen to the collective again? Can you show me again how this happened to the collective? How did this happen to the collective? Spirit said use these other cards again. How did this happen? Can we get more details, please? Oh, whoa. I almost got psycho, y'all. Separation, isolation, again, basically reconfirming the same message. There's been a sense of isolation. Somebody probably got ghosted, I'm just going to say. And let me tell you that ghosting somebody is the most immature and cruel thing you can do to somebody. Be an adult, grow a pair, and tell somebody where you're at in a relationship. I mean, come on, people. All right, can you show me why they isolated this individual? Why did they get ghosted? Because there was somebody else, another soulmate. It was a perfect pair in the spring, or maybe that's you. You might have met this person in the spring. You have a perfect pair here in spring, okay? And I, maybe they ghosted you in the spring, and you thought this person was perfect for you. Like there was nobody that could ever be more perfect for you. Or they might be planning on <laughs> ghosting you in the spring, but this feels like it's already happened. And somebody feels like a victim, a casualty. Do you remember before I told you somebody was going to be a casualty of somebody else's love war? This feels like it might be somehow. We have Leo here, and that was my Leo reading. We also have Leo here. Leo is very strong here. All right, any more details we can get about how, what was going on when this happened, Spirit? There was a secret admirer. And somebody was being fake. A mystery lover pretending. Somebody was being fake. Secret admirer has a feel of like. I think they just had a lot of secrets. This person was being fake. That's what's up. I mean, and there's going to be a twist of fate. Or maybe there was a twist of fate. Uh, why, what happened after they were fake, Spirit? Can you show me more about what happened here? 
<laughs> wow, somebody was a player, a man eater, and they were looking for something while they were traveling. And they had a hidden agenda. I'm going to tell you what this looks like to me. This looks like to me somebody who was in a relationship and they met somebody online and they were traveling to see this person, going out with them to party and get laid, and we're going back to a double life. That's what it looks like to me. Okay? And now there's no communication because they ghosted this person. <laughs> Alright, I think we see what's going on here. Somebody got ghosted. And it's because the person was fake and they had secrets. And the secrets were that they were manipulating. They were being deceptive. They were manipulating and they were looking for somebody that when they would travel, they could get high and laid with, or drunk and laid with, and this hidden agenda, this ulterior motive, and no communication, once they started to get caught at it by whoever they had at home. Alright, can you show me this person's true intentions again, using another deck of cards? The Nine of Wands came out. Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse? I got the star in reverse. And healing, alone time, withdrawing from love. So... This person felt like there was no hope for this because they knew they were being fake and they were playing this person. That's how they felt. What's going on with this person now that they've ghosted this individual? Show me their energy now that they've ghosted this person. Can you show me? Let's, let's talk about this now. Show me their energy now towards the person they ghosted. Can you show me? Thank you. This has been a lesson or separation is necessary divine timing. They didn't learn nothing from this. It came out in reverse. They're a knight of wands. Lustful, risk taker, and sudden arrival. This person <laughs> is a piece of work. Show me the energy of the person they ghosted right now, spirit. Thank you so very much. King of Pentacles. Loyal, secure, and taking love seriously. Male or female, it doesn't matter. This person is loyal, secure, and taking love seriously. But I'm going to say you're not all that secure if you're letting this bother you. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Children. This person has children, and the children are also a factor in this. They live at a distance from you, and they only come around when they're in town, it looks like, to party and get high and get laid, or drunk, or, you know, party, to have a good time. Maybe just meet you for sex once a month, or however, once a week. Whatever they can squeeze in, it looked like. And they promised you that this was real, and you felt that. You felt how real this was. But there's children involved here. You're coming out in the upright. They're coming out in reverse. Alright? The person with the children is coming in the upright. This one over here that's not learning the lessons is coming out in reverse. So, there's no hope for this. You need to heal. You need to heal from it and learn these lessons. There's no hope for this. This person was a player, they were manipulating, and they were just looking to have a good time while they were traveling, and they had a hidden agenda, which is that they have somebody at home. Show me the energy of the person they have at home, Spirit. Show me the energy of the person that they have at home. Judgment in reverse. They had some consequences for this. 
clarify what you mean? Or maybe they didn't. Maybe this person didn't. The Empress came out and the Six of Swords. Somebody was using bad judgment here. Bad judgment. This person's energy is that they used bad judgment. This person's in the upright. They think that their person used bad judgment, but they weren't ready to move on. So show me the relationship between this King of Pentacles and this Empress now. What's the relationship? I don't think they have one. Can you show me what it's like? The Two of Wands. Somebody is trying to figure out which way to go here. Alright. Show me what's going on with Divine Masculine here. I know he's here. What's going on with Divine Masculine here, Spirit? What's currently going on with Divine Masculine? Justice. We're trying to restore balance in this situation because somebody was unawakened. There's a soul contract here. All right, what's going on with Divine Feminine Spirit? This person wants you back. They want you back. Or maybe they don't want you back because they're in reverse. Why is it in reverse? You're, everything about you is in reverse right now. It's like your thinking is so upside down. Because they love, they're in love. This person is in love, big time. This King of Pentacles and this King of Cups are the same person. They might have an earth and a water placement. But they want you back big time. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Alright, so we got a King of Pentacles here. And a King of, Cu a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. So this person is working real hard. They're very much in love. They got children, and it looks like they got a wife. And then we got somebody over here that they've been meeting out of town. And maybe you felt like this person was your perfect match, but Spirit is saying this person was being fake. So somehow you were fooled into thinking that this was going to somehow be a relationship. And somehow protection factors into all of this. But we saw the negative energy. How does protection factor into all of this spirit? Death. Damn. What in the hell? Death. This money's in danger. Clarify what you mean, Spirit. Spirit said use the other cards. Clarify what you mean by death. Wow. Somebody's stagnant. Somebody's in danger of not growing, it looks like. Like, they, they just want to give up. This person looks like they're my... I don't want to say this, but they look like they're pretty depressed to me. Anything else you can tell me about this death, this transformation, this ending? This is not a good reading. Somebody's in, in trouble. They're, they're lust... They're ha they were lusting... Spirit's saying there's a warning here. Or maybe you didn't have any warning about this and you were embarrassed about some lust. And somebody's disillusioned. This was all about sex. And what's this person's next likely move, Spirit? 
disillusioned, secretive, and insecure. This person ghosting you really did a number on you, didn't it? And they're haunting you. This memory is haunting someone. Seriously haunting someone. Alright, Spirit, is there any messages that I can get out of this deck from the person who ghosted this person? What messages might they say, the one that ghosted them? What might they say to this person if they could get them a message? Whatever question you wanted an answer to, the answer is yes. Okay, there we go. They would say, I am staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. They don't want to hurt you. Don't give up on me yet. I'm scared to lose you. Anything else from this person's spirit? I'm distracted right now. And I feel it. I feel those distractions. <laughs> if you only knew how many times this reading has been distracted. I'm upset and I need some time to cool down. Somebody's mad. One more time, Spirit says. Any other messages from this person? There we go, to them. Even though we shouldn't, I still want to. So somebody, even though this is not allowed because this person is obviously married, they still want to be with you or you want to be with them. And I need to take a stop. I need to take a step back because I'm still trying to figure out what I want. This person is not available. They're married. All right, Spirit, what would you say out of this deck right here to anybody in this reading? Twin flame and children. Twin flame came out in reverse, but it could. You might have a twin flame, or they might. This is definitely a karmic thing. And then this addiction on the bottom of the deck. Anything else, spirit? Somebody might have an addiction here. It's a spiritual lesson. This person was put in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. And you're not learning that lesson. You've stagnated and you've stopped growing. Because you're disillusioned. There's secrets. Somebody's embarrassed about some lust. This was... And then you're protected again on the bottom of the deck. I think this was a strictly sexual thing. I truly do. Alright, how can we get some guidance for the person who was ghosted spirit? How can we get guidance for them? What do they need to work on? The person that got ghosted, what do they need to work on spirit? Oh God. I should have kept those, y'all. They were probably perfect for this reading. But the good thing about these cards is they will come out again. What does this person need to work on? They're escaping and medicating. They're, they're, they're probably drinking too much or taking drugs. And that's how they're escaping reality. And they're invading somebody's privacy, it looks like. What else do they need to work on? Whoa. Why not? Why not? They feel unlovable <coughs> and they're being childish. And somehow they've been misguided. Misguided. Somebody feels very unlovable. And the childish part, I'm not sure what to say about that. But I feel like somebody is probably being childish here. Thinking that this relationship can go any further because honestly, it's not going any further. Not right now anyway. I don't see any possible way that this relationship can move forward. This person is with somebody else. What else, Spirit? What else, Spirit? Anything out of this deck for the person that needs help to recover from being ghosted? 
anything on here that can help them recover from being ghosted and being hurt so it does hurt when you meet somebody and they they can pretend so well but i think in this case somebody wanted something so desperately to help them it's as chris says this, this is over this is the end of this it's it's over conclusion over Anything you can say to help this person move forward, Spirit? Any advice to help them move forward here? Everything's coming out in reverse. Something was received. Maybe you sent a message to them. Spirit is saying it was received. They received it. Why is it in reverse? Why is offer here? There's an offer here that's changing this or changing something about this. Clarify what you mean. That's coming out in the upright. There's going to be an offer that's going to change, that's going to transform this. Clarify what you mean by this offer will transform this. Forgiveness, deception, dark night of the soul, and separation all came out in reverse. So maybe whatever they received, they're going to respond to it, and there's going to be forgiveness, deception. They're going to ask you to forgive them for deceiving them. And you just need to know that this is, this is, and let's not call it a dark night of the soul. Let's call it a crisis in your life. I mean, something hard, something painful. This separation, and it looks like if they're not going to make this offer, maybe they should. Maybe they're watching this video, and I'm telling you right now, you should ask this person for forgiveness for what you've done. You don't just ghost people. This person's been crying, and they're hurt, and they feel you wounded them this childishness they feel unlovable their inner child feels unlovable and i think they have acted childishly though somebody acted childishly anything else you want to say holy spirit to anybody in this situation Somebody's being admired because they they maybe you're looking at pictures of this person or you're going on their social media somehow somebody's admiring somebody because they remember this connection and it felt so good but that's not healthy it's not healthy advice for the person that's doing this admiring Surrender. Spirit says surrender and release this. Surrender and release this. It's time to let this go. Alright, can I get dice please with initials? G came out right then y'all. It flew out. Dice with initials please. I have D as in dog, F as in friend, P as in purple, R as in red, V as in violet, Z as in Zane or Z. And N as in Nancy. D as in dog. P as in purple. P as in purple. W as in William. W as in William. M as in Morgan. D as in dog. D is coming out strongly and so is W and M. And P. <laughs> wow. All right. <coughs> The one that went on the floor is a C as in cat, V as in Vicky, O as in orange, T as in Tom, B as in boy, F as in Frank, I as in Irene. Uh, I had to reach for the C. F as in Fran, N as in Nancy, D as in dog, L as in love, M as in Mary, V as in Vicky, Y is in yellow. One more time. 
N as in Nancy, U, S as in Sam, Q, Q, C as in cat, K as in kid, or Kelly. Alright, okay. M as in Mary, S as in Sam, I as in Isaiah or Isaac, P as in Paul, W as in William or Wanda, J as in John, T as in Tom. Alright. <coughs> now, what, what else needs to be healed here, Spirit? What other healing needs to take place here? You need to discover your life purpose and say what you mean. What else? Somebody needs to have courage. This sun card. I mean, um, yeah, I guess sun too, but you need to, um, this strength. You need to have courage and be strong. Red Japanese maple, the mountains. You might have gone on a trip to see this person in the mountains. Phoenix rising. Somebody needs to embrace this spiritual awakening. We've gotten Phoenix twice. You might live in the mountains. These long leaf pines are standing out to me. Somebody plays an instrument. Somebody has blonde hair. Huh? Did you say something, Miss Mary? No, no, no. Okay. Somebody has blonde hair with a braid. Somebody has red hair. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Somebody definitely has blonde hair. Last time. <laughs> Whoa. Somebody's been procrastinating. Somebody's been selling out and somebody feels like they have a hole in their soul and healing. Ultimately, there's the need here for healing. Alright. Mm -hmm. How can we get more messages? Let's see what they need to surrender. What does Divine Masculine need to surrender, Spirit? Stop comparing yourself to others and surrender to inner peace. How about Divine Feminine? Surrender to complete healing and surrender to success. Anybody else? Surrender frustration and stubbornness. One more time. Surrender to what is and surrender to denial. <laughs> and surrender to the beauty of the natural world. <clears throat> Gotta get grounded again. Money's not grounded here. Alright. What um, divine energy is working, Spirit, in this situation? What divine energy is at work here? Here it says, address your addictions, be open to love, trust the divine plan, nurture yourself first, and face your adversities. Perfect for this reading. And forgive and forget. Time to let this go. We've been seeing that as well over and over again. Alright. How else can this person find healing through this journey, Spirit? Can you talk to me for Divine Feminine, please? What can Divine Feminine learn from this or need to take away from this or any situation in Divine Feminine's life. What card might help Divine Feminine? Whoop, thank you, Spirit. What is the most limiting belief keeping you from what you want right now? What story are you telling yourself? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible. You hear that, Divine Feminine? A part of you doesn't think that having the life you want is possible. And you have a lot of limiting beliefs. It's time to upgrade. Look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adopt in its place? 
How will this change your results? Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it, heal it, upgrade it. And this is what you can do while you're meditating, is to look at these limiting beliefs. Look them in the eye. Where are they coming from? What can you do to replace that with the truth? And how will that change your results? Remember, your belief is the root of your results. How about Divine Masculine Spirit? What does Divine Masculine need from this reading? Uh -huh. We've got a whole stack, Divine Masculine. I keep getting a whole stack for you. What is my body telling me right now? Do I know all my strengths and am I using them? From whom can I release my judgment right now? So, listen to your body, Divine Masculine. What's going on with your body? Did somebody get sick from these um, sexual encounters? I mean, that's just something that I'm thinking. There could be something else going on. And what are your strengths? Maybe you don't know your strengths. And... Somehow you have to release your judgments from this situation. Anything for any other party involved in this scenario, Spirit? Thank you so very much. Wow. I'm getting a lot for you guys. Wow. Okay. What am I most afraid of losing? Where am I called to use my voice? Am I apologizing for my truth? And what can I do to make a difference? So... Somebody's afraid of losing someone or something, and Spirit is saying you need to talk to this person, and you need to tell the truth and apologize. This is how you can make a difference. This is how you can make a difference. Alright, and then on the bottom of the deck, Divine Masculine, it looks like you've been sick, and if so, I'm sending you a lot of love, baby. What am I grateful for right now? Adopt an abundance mindset. The universal law of attraction says we attract to our lives that which we're focused. Close your eyes. Put your hand on your heart and think of three things for which you are grateful today. Notice the abundance growing inside of you. Alright, anything else, Spirit, before I close this message? Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Can I get some? Alright. I have an infinity sign that says love. I have a piece of my crystal, quartz crystal. Maybe you're into crystals. Maybe your name is crystal. I have a guitar. I have a daisy. Maybe daisy is significant to you. I have this again. Somebody tell me what that is. What symbol is that? I have this buck or this deer. I had them in my yard last night. I have an EKG heart thing and you're in the medical profession. I have made with love and it's a heart and I made this with love of course. I have the word love. I have a fancy heart. I have a cross with a sparrow. Maybe you have a tattoo like that. I have a seahorse. Seahorse is made for life. I have an angel. I have always in my heart. And I have a little pig, or no, 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 that's a mouse or a rat. <laughs> Trinkets from the front of all the Alright, I have a cactus. Maybe somebody's been a prick, and they definitely have. I have a ball and a rocking horse. Somebody plays ball, or maybe you have a baby. I have a fancy heart. Live, laugh, and love. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. Me versus me. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. I have two more balls. I have three balls. Maybe you have three something. <laughs> I have the cherries. I have a skeleton hand. I have another crystal, but this one's tiger's eye. Maybe that tiger is about this Leo. You are always in my heart. Again, I have the horse. I have the word wish. I have you are my sunshine. She believed she could, so she did. And then I have an Eiffel Tower. 
All right, that's the reading. I hope you got something out of this that can help you to move forward. But this connection is dead in the water, and there's no sense in continuing to try to revive it because you're only stagnating and causing yourself not to grow. And it honestly, it looks like there's um, a divine masculine, a divine feminine, and a karmic, at least one karmic involved here. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll be back later with another reading. Be blessed. Bye-bye.